We are continuing our coverage of National Deaf History Month. And with the coronavirus pandemic truly changing the way we live, all of our students in East Tennessee and beyond are being affected. Joining us now is Jessica McMahon, principal for the Tennessee School for the Deaf, and her interpreter, Danielle Peterson. Ladies, thank you so much for being here with us today. It's my pleasure. Absolutely. And Jessica, walk us through how learning is continuing for students at the Tennessee School for the Deaf with this pandemic going on. Yes, yeah, it's been quite the challenge. It's been fun, but stressful. I won't lie about that. Either way, though, there's one thing that I think needs to be recognized. The services that have been provided at TSC have also impacted students, students statewide, not just the students that live local to TSC. So we go from end of state east to west, and that has been challenging, but we're very thankful for uh, the visual apps that we have that has allowed us the access to teach online. The technology has been amazing in this way. And also being able to interact with our students through Zoom, using teacher services and these visual apps. It has allowed us the opportunity to have interactive activities with our students, which has been really amazing. The technology truly is incredible. What have been some of the biggest hurdles that you all have had to conquer as a school? Well, we have different time zones. And one of the things that I've realized is because the East time zone and the Central time zone both impact our school. So that has been challenging for families. A lot of families are working at home. And so they may not have access to laptops for their laptops for their children. And so we've had to then send that technology home so that they can have that access. And also access to the internet has been challenging too. But we are very proud of everyone that has been working diligently to make this happen. And it's been awesome. Again, our staff have worked tirelessly day and night to support our students. That is awesome. And we appreciate all of the work that y'all are doing to continue to support your students at the Tennessee School for the Deaf and also all across the state. You know, Jessica, parents are at home, students are at home, a part of the hearing community. Now is the perfect time for them to learn a new language and they can do that through American Sign Language. How do you think people should maybe learn and take those steps to walk into a new language? Well, there's many approaches to learning sign language. A lot of people ask, how do you learn sign language? Well, there are college classes that are offered. There are also sign classes offered on campus that are free to the community. And there are other ways too online, uh, digitally. The hashtag why I sign is one avenue. You'll see a number of different people who have learned sign language because of their family members, because they work in the medical field, they may be law enforcement or newscasters like yourself. So there are a lot of different ways to learn sign language, which is pretty awesome. And it, there are a lot of motivational stories too from parents even. So there's a lot of variety there. That's incredible. And you're right. I even learned a couple of signs before this interview. I learned that this was awesome. What are two to three signs that you wish people knew or, or good signs for them to go ahead and start with? Well, I, I was trying to think of what can I give you um, in this short period of time, like a crash course. But here's one. Are you deaf? or just the sign deaf. This is how you say it, deaf. You point to your ear and then your mouth, deaf. Deaf, are you deaf? And if you move your eyebrows upwards, you're asking a question, are you deaf? And then using that facial expression will emphasize what it is that you're actually expressing. And then of course the answer could be yes. This is how we say yes, or no, I'm not deaf. You just shake your head and 
and move your fingers like this. But again, the facial expression is extremely important. So you see how you can interact saying, are you deaf, yes or no? And then help. This is a sign for help. This yes. is a very important sign, I'm sure. You know, if people are interested in more resources. I know you mentioned that hashtag. But if people are interested in more resources that you all have to offer, where can they go to learn about these resources? Sure, www.tsdeaf.org. It's tsdeaf.org. There are a number of resources listed on that website. And also, please don't forget hashtag why I sign. That's an amazing resource as well. Hashtag why I sign. That's a very important hashtag for the deaf community. We'll have all of this and their information on our website at livingeasttennessee.com.